Since we've spent a lot of time creating an accurate model of our fixtures in space, we are going to leverage that work by easily creating a magic sheet that is representative of the lights in our rig. The menu to convert an augmented model into a magic sheet is on your augmented tab. So regardless of whether you're in a native or a tethered environment, we want to add a augmented tab. And you'll see I'm in a tethered environment, so it already knows that I am tethered to another machine. But from here, I can either double click on the tab or click on the config gear. And you'll see that I have a special menu that says set channel locations from magic sheet or create magic sheet from channel locations. For now, I'm going to create my magic sheet for channel locations. And the pop-up that shows up allows you to select which orientation you'd like to create the magic sheet from. So you have the ability to create a top-down view, a view from your front, from left or from right, or from your current camera position. And then it asks you which magic sheet number you'd like to create with this information. So for the sake of my example today, I'm going to do top-down and I'm gonna make my magic sheet be 401 because I know I have space there. So I'm gonna hit confirm and it lets me label it right here. I'm gonna call this my augmented magic sheet. Great. And as soon as I hit enter, that has been created. So I'm gonna add another tab. I'm gonna find my magic sheet 401. And as you can see, it quickly populates all of my fixtures into my magic sheet. So the point of this is not to give you an exact representation of your rig, but to give you a starting point. So from here, all of my channels are in their general location from my top-down view. I can open my editor and start to interact and edit those channels. For now, I'm just gonna close my editor and work on other things. As we saw, there's also a set channel locations from Magic Sheet, and that is a bit more difficult in that if you have a Magic Sheet, uh, it doesn't have any three-dimensional awareness and it doesn't have any scale. So if you already have a Magic Sheet that is representational of your plot, it might be a good starting point, but you're gonna have to still do a lot of work in the augmented model to get those fixtures to match reality. Like Magic Sheets, augmented tabs on a console or ETC Nomad can be opened up into a full screen mode or limited expand mode. On tethered computers, augmented models always fill the entire window. To get to limited expanded mode, I can click on my gear menu where my augmented tab is located and I have limited expand mode. And when I click that, you'll notice I go into a full screen view. I also retain a gear in the bottom left hand corner so when I click on this, I can exit limited expand mode for my augmented window, and that'll take me back to a standard view.